this is finally Boxing Guru gets yeah. an all with Jack Bateson. Uh, we've been to see you this morning, mate. Seeing you go through a little routine with your uncle Martin. Yeah. Had a chat with your dad at his uh, his lovely gaff yeah. up uh, <laughs> near Leeds. Right, yeah. um, and now we're with one of your sponsors over in Headingley. So do you want to just give us a bit of a? Yeah. So I'm I'm over at my uh, my barber's, Jack's Barber Shops, uh, run by my uh, my good friend Tony. I've known Tony a long time. Uh, he set up Jack's and he started sponsoring me. So yeah, it's it's great. Come down, get my weekly cut. Yeah. Stay sharp in and out of the ring. Yeah, happy days, mate. So, for anybody who doesn't know who you are out there, I mean, I know a lot of fans will do because you did have quite an extensive amateur background yeah. and, and obviously you had quite a high profile being a, a Sky Sports scholar at the time. Um, just give everybody a rundown of, of, of your background as an amateur, your achievements and just sort of, yeah, a general overview. Yeah, um, I, I've started boxing at nine years old. I'm 24 now. Uh, got on Team GB at about 17 years old, won nine national titles, two senior ABA titles, Commonwealth Youth Games, gold, European senior bronze. Uh, I think I was on the GB squad for about five, six years before I decided to turn pro after missing out on the Olympics 2016. Um, yeah, now 8-0 as a pro, yep. onwards and upwards. So you've kind of gone from, you had obviously a decent amateur background, well, very good amateur background, um, and all that exposure with the Sky Sports Scholar thing. Yeah. You've sort of decided to go a different route of the pro game just for now. It seems to have gone under the radar a little bit, so you've not gone with any mainstream promoters, so I decided to stick to some of your own shows and yeah. sort of build up that way first, initially. Yeah, so yeah. what was the reasoning be behind that? I get asked this all the time, and there was a little bit of interest when I first turned over, you know, with some big promoters and whatnot, but my dad has been putting shows on for the past 20 odd years and uh, he's got big shows in Leeds at Ellen Road, home of Leeds United, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and the regular. Mm. So I'm fighting on there and for now, like I'm 8 and 0, I've been pro for 15 months. Yeah, yeah. I'm 8 and 0, um, I get good notice, I know when I'm fighting 8 weeks before, yeah. um, I'm not getting, you know, dropped 3 weeks, you know, you're fighting next week or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and the time will come where maybe I do need a, a bigger promoter or whatnot, but it's all working. So why fix mm. something that's not broken? And plus, I wanna, I wanna keep my family involved, keep my dad, my uncle involved, and mm. hopefully it'll be good for us all. And you're still young. I mean, you're only 24 years old at the minute, yeah. so you've got plenty of time yeah. to sort of get on that big stage. But you also have boxed at a big stage very recently, last year when you boxed on uh, Josh Warrington's undercard at Ellen Road. So do yeah. you wanna just describe that that experience and how that yeah, was for yeah. you? Yeah, well. Um, it's unbelievable experience. I've been on two warranting cards in the past, obviously. I'm a big Leeds fan myself. I got to box at Ellen Road Stadium, which is something I've always dreamt of doing, but I never thought I'd do it in my first year as a pro. Yeah. Um, it was it was good, it was special, you know, warming up in the Leeds United changing rooms. I'd, it was a lovely day. Um, to be involved in those big cards, be at the press conference and all sorts, it was a nice experience. And it did give me a little bit of thinking, like, oh, do I want to go with a big promoter yeah, and whatnot? Yeah. But, I'm a big ticket seller and I can, these opportunities will come, I mean I sold £60,000 worth of tickets on the Ellen Road show, yeah. uh, I fought the first direct arena about 8 months before on a different card and sold £30,000, so I'm going to fight on these shows and yeah, yeah. Um, hopefully I can build my way up and you know towards the headline but for now I'm happy just to be on and the show. When it comes you'll be ready. Exactly, yeah, yeah. You'll be ready. So, I know there's a little bit of an interesting uh, information that we learned earlier, which our American fans will be really yeah. interested in, is that you sparred with uh, Shakur Stevenson. Yeah. Um, so what was that experience like? How did it? How did that come about? And and how was it? Oh, it was um, it was really good. I mean, I was over in Colorado, um, Colorado Springs on a training camp with Team GB. Oh, so um, were the American training so he bases just, in he Colorado? He turned over by then, and right. he was about two or three and zero. Yeah, and I was still an amateur. I was preparing for my last my last fight as a as an amateur, um, and we were all mixing, matching, sparring. And anyway, I jumped in the ring with him, and I had uh, I think he was a bit heavier at the time. He was just walking about. He didn't have a fight lined up, and um, I did about three or four rounds, but he. He controlled the pace very well. He, he's got his front southpaw, you know, front foot. He just keeps it there. Yeah. And he and he's strong, you know what I mean? And yeah, yeah. It w it was good. It, and he, he's smiling all the way through, you know what I mean? Like he's he's got it up there mentally and physically. And um, yeah, it was a good experience, you know what I mean? And yeah, to get the rounds with these sort of guys, you know, coming through and 
The team GB taught me a lot, and I can take a lot of that moving forward now in the pros. So it was it was a good experience. Yeah, yeah. it's good to see him smashing it. Out. Yeah, so he's yeah, coming yeah. out warranting and stuff. So he might be over in Leeds. Yeah, yeah you might be boxing on the under. You might be boxing on the other card before you know it. Yeah, yeah. So. But I think you'd be more likely to be Josh's sparring partner before you become his for this one. Could happen, couldn't it? So basically, what's what's next for for Jack Bates? And like I know said at the minute, you're building. Um, but what what's, would you like to see this year? Would you like to look at maybe some titles, maybe an earlier yeah. title, an English title? What, what are you looking at? By the end of the year, I want a title. Whether that be mid year, end of the year, I want the title. I'm doing an eight rounder next next Saturday, March the second. Yeah, on my dad's show. Um, I'm uh, doing eight rounds then, and from there, I'm ready then. I'm, there'll be ten rounds, title fights, or whatever, whatever route we decide to go down. Um, I'll be ready and like. Like I say, I've, I've had a lot of experience. I've had 120 odd damage fights. Like I'm ready to start picking it up now, and just yeah. um, once I get them rounds under my belt, hopefully there'll be no stopping me. I'm just, I've learned the game well in my first 15 months, and just onwards now. Yeah. And long term, what's the plans for the future? I mean, I know obviously everybody's got plans. The goal yeah. when you set out, we was discussing this earlier about yeah. about Charlie Edwards. He's obviously achieved his ultimate goal. He's won the big green belt, one everybody wants to win. Yeah, yeah. Um, what what's the ultimate goal long term? I mean, obviously you want to win a world title, but is there any aspirations to move through the weights, anything like that? What what are you looking at? What's your sights on? Ultimate? At the minute, I'm a I'm a super bantamweight. I wanna I wanna win a win a few belts at that or whatever, and stay as, stay at super bantamweight as long as I can. Yeah. Um, I know my body's maturing and matur and eventually I probably will end up at featherweight, but uh, I want to win a British title. I want to definitely go down that route, and I want to hopefully one day. Win a British title, give it to my dad. He's always said that's the best belt in boxing. So you fancy it for keeps? I'd love to get win that, keep it, and give it to my old man. But like you say, the ultimate dream is is the world title. And yeah. um, listen, it's easy talking about titles and even British titles and stuff like it's mm. it's a long way off as of now. But if you've got a dream, it I need to to achieve it. So um, they're definitely my targets. Fantastic, and I do like that because. I, what a big thing about me is I love the old school sort of you know, traditional roots. So yeah. you win your English, you're early, you're English, you're British, Commonwealth, yeah. European, and then you go on to world honours. But you see it more and more nowadays that fighters will just bypass all of that, Rush. go go the intercontinental route to try and get themselves a world yeah, world ranking, yeah. and then they'll they'll fight for a vacant world title yeah. and win it. So it, it is refreshing to see a fighter who wants to win a belt like the Lonsdale belt, like you said, yeah. in my opinion as well, best belt in boxing and uh, win it outright so that's brilliant mate and last one might be a bit cheeky because I know he's a good friend of yours but if you did move up to featherweight and Josh Warrington's still still knocking about one of big leads bust up at, at Ellen Road local derby could you it never be? say never do you but I mean listen I'm a long long way off where Josh is now but if I get up there quick enough and he's there and you know what it's, it's a sport at the end of the day you know you you shake hands before you get in there you have a dust I, I've sparred with lads Shut, it could be my best mates, jumps in the ring, not lumps of shite out of each other for 12 rounds, whatever it is, jump out and your best pals best again, mates, so yeah. end of the day it's a sport and you never say never. Yeah. Well, that's it, that was uh, Boxing Guru, get to know with uh, Jack Bateson and uh, everybody uh, follow Jack over on uh, on Instagram, would you like to give him your Thank handle? Thank you for having me, yeah, it's uh, Jack Bateson 94 Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all of them same, so... Fantastic. Follow the journey, guys. Big one Thank for the future. Guys. Cheers.